Okay, now we're over at the four-wheeler. Now we'll show you this. This is a persimmon tree that the wind blew down almost on our fence. And we were riding the fence and we saw it go across where we ride. So I got the chainsaw out and cut it up. It was still, actually still had green leaves on it, so it's perfect. These guys here are <coughs> six feet long, and this is how big they are right here. These are going to wind up as bow staves. They have to dry at least a year, and we're going to make uh, primitive self bows out of these when they dry. And uh, the smaller pieces we might make into shillelaghs or, or walking sticks or war clubs or something like that. So we are now going to put these up here. This is one of our places that we built uh, in the shop. So we're going to use the lower part for a milking stall when our cow has a calf, which she's well on her way. And up there, we're going to take, we store wood. I got limbs up there too. Let's see if you can zero in on those limbs up there. Those cedar limbs. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay, those are cedar limbs. Cedar trees that have fallen down. We take the trouble to cut the limbs off, even though it's a lot of trouble. But those can be used for legs or benches and all. So that's what we're doing now. And uh, we're going to put this wood up there. And, uh,. I'm going to throw the net because I'm a fisher of men. So if you don't want to get caught, you better run and swim away real quick because I'm fixing to throw the net. Good morning. This is Gardner Israel. As I promised, I'm going to try to, th I'm not going to try, I'm going to throw my net. And see if I can throw my net on some of you out there that are listening. I want to give you a book report. On this book right here, this is the Holy Bible. This is the most complicated book in existence and at the same time, it's the most simple book in existence. This book was designed to befuddle the smartest man on earth. But it was also designed so that the most simple-minded person could understand its message. Many times, the most brilliant people will not understand what this means. Here's my book report. This book says, you cannot be good enough to save yourself. No man can be good and save himself. Every man has to be saved by God. Now, I'm going to tell you the name, Yeshua. Jesus' Hebrew name is Yeshua. It means salvation or save me. The way that you do it is you ask Yeshua Jesus please save me. I have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This book says that you will die if you sin. And that's the truth. But if you ask Him to save you, He can forgive your sins because He actually paid the price that you deserved by dying on the cross. He's God in the flesh. But you have to ask Him. He's not going to give it to you. He's not going to force you to take it. You have to ask Him. That's what the Bible teaches. No man can save himself. But God can save you. God died on the cross to pay your penalty because He loves you. You have to ask Him, Dear Lord, please save me. And that's it. That's why His name is Yeshua. Save salvation. Save me. 
That's the book report. That's the meaning of the book. That's all there is to it. I'm not talking to some people that I know I am that you have friends that keep telling you about Jesus and you can't get it. You can't see Jesus. You don't see it that way. That's as it should be. Of course you can't see it that way. Your eyes aren't open. Ask Him. You have to ask Him. Dear Jesus, please let me see you. My friends are telling me that there's something there, that you're God, that you can save me, but I can't see it. Simple answer, you have to ask Him. Seek and ye shall find. I can't tell you why this is the way it is. It's a mystery. I'm just telling you that's what you do. So this book, if you read it, will help you. Especially the New Testament, the part about Jesus. That would be Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's called the New Testament. Start there. All right? When you get some of this down, maybe you'll go to the Old Testament, which actually is a forerunner of the New Testament. Or, if you want to just quit all that, ask Him and He will save you. Ask and you will receive. This is Gardner Israel. I'm out.